Hey guys, and welcome back for today's video where I want to walk you through the process on how you can go about changing the name of your wireless router and or your wireless router password. Now, I just got a brand new router myself. It's all hooked up, so it's using the name and password that came with the device. So I want to change these to my own personal preferences. Now, as you can see here on the page, I have five sets of numbers. These are standard router addresses. I will post these five standard router addresses down in the video description. One of them is likely to work for you. My router is 192.168.0.1. So I'm going to copy that and put it into the address bar right at the top of my web browser, paste that in and click enter. And then that takes me to a page that is the Tenda router quick setup wizard. Now, if none of these five standard router addresses work for you, another way that you can find this number is on your keyboard, hold down the windows key and click R. And then in this, go ahead and type in CMD and click OK. And then once this command prompt comes up, you can go ahead and type in IP config and then click enter. And then a whole bunch of information should pop up. Scroll down and find where it says default gateway. And that should be the router address that you use. And as you can see for me, it's 192.168.0.1. So I'm gonna move off of this page and then go through the setup wizard to show you how you can change that name and password. So on the setup wizard, I'm gonna click start. Hey guys, I didn't mention this the first time I went through and made this video because my wireless router didn't ask for a username or a password to log in to access its settings, but this is a very common thing. And there's factory defaults for these with these wireless routers where the username is almost always either admin or user admin, and the password is almost always as default admin or password. So I'll post those down in the video description, the common username and password. So you can try out different combinations of those. If you're having trouble logging in and accessing the settings of your wireless router. Now it is possible that somebody changed the username and password on your wireless router. And if you don't know what those are, well, you're not completely out of luck. You can go to your wireless router, hold down the reset button for around 30 seconds to factory reset it. And this should put it back to its original username and password. And again, I'll post those down in the video description. And this is going to be different depending on your specific wireless router, how all of these menus and options pop up. But in general, this should be around the same experience. Now on this page, I don't need to type in any of this information. I'm going to go ahead and click skip. And then it takes me to this page that allows me to change the name as well as the password for my wireless router. And like I said, it's just using the standard name and password that came with my device. So for the name, I'm going to type in Let's just call it my internet and then a laughing face. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in a new password. And then I'm going to go ahead and confirm this password. And it's also giving me the option that I can set this Wi-Fi password as the login password and admin to this account. But then I'm going to go ahead and click next. And it says you're all set, you can now connect to and then whatever you named your device and then as well as the password that you set up. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to this. So it actually disconnected me because I just changed the password. So now I'm going to go ahead and click my internet XD. And then click connect and then of course, I have to type in that password. And then click next. And then it's going to verify that everything is set up properly. And now I'm officially connected to my new wireless router with the name and password that I personally set up for it. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.